Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Nacho Problems, where we turn ordinary recipes into extraordinary nachos. I'm Nacho Queen, but you can call me M. Fall has descended upon us here at Casa del Nacho. The pool is closed, the leaves are falling, and it's dark by 5 p.m. So this week, we're making some comfort food in the form of chicken pot pie nachos. Savory pies aren't nearly as popular here in the U.S. as they are with our friends across the pond, but this is one exception. If you're not familiar with the dish, it's basically a hearty chicken soup baked inside a pie crust. I think it's the perfect recipe for the cooler weather. So let's get started. Step one, the chips. We'll be turning the pie crust into our chips. Now, for the people who've been with me all year, both of you, We'll remember that our very first episode was apple pie nachos, and they turned out good, but the chips were kind of bland. So I've dug out a special recipe for my big book of pie, and for this we need 226 grams or eight ounces of butter at room temperature. Now for anyone screaming, M, you need cold butter for pie crust. Well, just wait. I promise it'll all make sense soon, or at least the butter will the rest of your life, who knows? 330 grams or about two and three quarter cups all-purpose flour, two grams or half a teaspoon of salt, omit if you're using salted butter, one head of garlic, some olive oil, a sprig of rosemary, and about 75 grams or one third cup of ice water. You might also want to use an egg, but this is optional. Start by cutting off the top of your head of garlic. By top, I mean the side opposite of the roots. Make sure each little clove is exposed. Then remove as many of the papery outer layers as possible without separating the cloves. Now drizzle oil all over the cut side and make sure it's good and covered. Wrap it up tightly in foil and place it in an oven safe dish. Then it's into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes or until the cloves are a lovely caramel color. Allow it to cool completely before proceeding. Next, we're gonna squeeze the garlic out and add it to Cuisinart Garfunkel here. Then add in the rosemary and room temperature butter and puree them all together until fully combined. Now we need to chill this for at least two hours. Don't be like me and leave it in the bowl though. It's a pain to get out once it's cold. Scoop it onto a plate, stick it in the freezer. Once it's good and cold, cut the butter into little chunks and add it along with the flour and salt, if using, to a food processor and pulse until the butter is reduced to about mm, pea size. Now you can do this by hand, but remember you don't want to melt the butter. So if you're a particularly hot person, then what the heck are you doing watching nacho videos on YouTube? I'm kidding. If you have warm hands, then use either a pastry cutter or a potato masher or even just a fork to mix the butter into the flour. Next, slowly add in your water a little at a time until it comes together to form a firm but not sticky dough. Do not overwork the dough. You want it much closer to a CEO than an Amazon employee. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up in plastic and it's back into the fridge to chill for another two hours. Now that it's cooler than your favorite YouTuber, it's time to roll it out. This is kind of hard straight out of the fridge, but just keep at it until it's about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters thick. See Brits, I can figure out the metric system if I want to, or at least I can Google the conversion. Now we're gonna use our trusty cookie cutters to cut out our dough into chip shapes. This next part is optional, but I'm gonna give them a little brush with some egg wash. I generally just whisk up an egg for this, but I'll put a link in the description to a website that explains all the different types of egg washes, their purposes, and results, so you can experiment for yourself. Now it's into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 205 Celsius, for 10 to 15 minutes or until crispy and golden. And that's our chips. Next up is step two, the cheese and toppings. So reminiscent of the apple pie video, our cheese and toppings will be combined again. For this, we'll be making up a quick chicken soup. There's a lot of room for creativity here, so don't feel like you have to use what I've got. As always, you do you. I've got some chicken. I'm using a rotisserie chicken that's been boned and chopped into bite-sized bits. This is probably about two to three cups. Some veggies. I really like onions and celery in a chicken soup. I've also got some peas and carrots because while I don't like them, cameramen and Oldson do, and 
They add a nice pop of color. Some spices. I chose one teaspoon each of rosemary, thyme, sage, and parsley, but this is where you can really play around with some flavor. Lemon pepper would be nice, maybe some ginger. Dill goes really well with chicken. Seriously, just dig through your spice cabinet and find something you need to use up. The other ingredients you need are the basic ingredients for a gravy. I'm using four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of flour, and four cups of chicken broth. If you want vegetarian nachos, swap the butter for olive oil and use vegetable broth instead. You can also use gravy out of a can, jar, or packet. Friends, we love to cook, but don't ever let a lack of time or energy stop you from having some awesome nachos. Take whatever shortcuts you want, I do not judge. Now, let's get going with this soup. I'm gonna start by melting my butter in a large pot. Next, add in the onions and saute them on medium low for about five minutes. Then add in the celery and saute for another few minutes. Now you might be wondering, if I'm using different vegetables, when do I add them and in what order? Well, that depends on how firm they are to begin with and how firm you want them to be at the end. If you're using a harder squash variety, potatoes or root vegetables, you might actually want to roast them in the oven to get them fully cooked and then toss them in at the end. Otherwise, they'll go in first and you're looking at a cook time closer to 20 to 30 minutes. Fresh carrots and broccoli, I consider mid-level as I like them to still have some texture, but if you want them good and mushy, toss them in first thing too. Any canned vegetables or soft vegetables like peas should go in towards the end with the chicken since they only really need to be heated up. Okay, now I'm gonna increase the heat to medium and mix in the flour. Cook it for about one to two minutes, stirring constantly. Next, add in the broth and stir well. This is when you want to add your mid-level veggies and let them cook for five to 10 minutes. I'm using frozen carrots, which cook much faster, so they'll go in later. Next, I'm gonna add in my seasonings to start building up some flavor. If you're uncertain about an herb or a spice, scoop up a small spoonful of your soup, add just a tiny pinch to it, let it sit for a minute, then try it. If you like it, add it to the soup. If not, try something else. We're gonna bring this to a boil, stirring occasionally. Now add in the chicken along with any last minute veggies and let cook for another five minutes or until everything is good and hot. And that's our cheese. The only thing left is Step three, let's eat. We'll start with some of our pie crust chips. Then ask Nessie here to ladle on some of our soup. Top with a sprinkle of parsley. And there we have some warm, comforting nachos for a cold and dreary day. I think I'm gonna steal the first bite this week. The pie crust was anything but bland this time. The garlic was almost overpowering. I'll probably reduce it next time. The soup turned out really nice too. In fact, I ate leftovers of this one for several days. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a like and please consider subscribing if you wanna see more nacho videos. If you have an idea for a future video, you can leave a comment below or tag me on the site previously known as Twitter. I'm at NachoProblemsYT. I've also linked my blue sky below, but you won't find me on Facebook, Instagram, or threads. If you're looking for nacho merch, there's a link in the description. Now, I just saw one of my neighbors putting up their Christmas lights, so I have to send an angry text. But that better be not your problem. Seriously, when I said you do you, I did not mean start Christmas in early November. This is ridiculous. And if I hear Mariah Carey before Thanksgiving, so help me. Um, yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.